Hey, real quick, I just want to show you guys uh, how sinister um, Facebook Messenger is. Um, I've done this before. I'm going to redo it since I've gotten uh, more popular on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> so you go to your settings on your phone. Mine is more advanced. It shows you uh, more features. Okay, so these are all the apps that are on my phone. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows that. They get to that. So we're going to check out Messenger. There we go. Facebook Messenger. And then you go to permissions. You can see it says no permissions granted. <laughs> okay, so these are your things that, that everybody could see, maybe. Um, now, as some people have the option to see all the permissions, for someone, for some reason, they just put these up there because these right here, once they ask or you grant them permission like this right here, once you do it one time and that's on, they have access to other things that they just neglect to tell you or they just assume that you should know. So this will tell you all the permissions, see? So I want to know all the permissions, all permissions for Messenger. Take pictures and video. Sure, everybody's got, when you first install it, it's like, uh, can we have from, we need permission from your camera to, to take the picture that you want to take. My advice, you take the picture with your phone and then go to Messenger and then send it that way because it's already, you know, you pick that from your stores, you want to send the picture, not from the camera, not to take a picture right now because... This allows the app to take pictures and videos with the camera. This permission allows the app to use the camera at any time without your knowledge. Reread that second part. This permission allows the app to use the camera at any time. Any time. Without your knowledge. Because they've already gotten your permission. You gave them your permission here. To take the picture that you wanted to take. Of the pretty little bunny face yeah well by giving that permission you also give them permission to access at any time without your knowledge of them doing it nice huh nothing sinister about that audio recording you ever do uh you talk to text yeah i'm a little lazy most of the times it comes out crappy google needs to improve that um drastically but once you uh tap that same thing this permission allows the app to record audio at any time without your knowledge. You give them permission one time, they can turn on your microphone and your camera and record video and audio at any time they want without telling you because they've already asked and you said yes. You didn't say yes one time like most people would assume, but no, they can do it any time they want to. GPS location, if it's on your, your phone, if you have Messenger, if you have Messenger on your phone like it is now on mine, and you have location turned on for your phone for Google, then they can access it. They can access the full network. They can view the different Wi-Fi connections. Change your audio settings. Download files without notification. Facebook, why are you downloading files to my phone without my notification? That's a little sinister, no? Anyway, um, receive data from the internet. I mean, I don't know. You can go through this if your phone breaks it down like this, but it's always not on the main. See, you just go to your apps. Man, well, I wonder what permissions they want. Ah, I named it. Calendar, blah, 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 blah. Phone. Huh. Don't fall for it, folks. If you have, I mean, even if you just don't want, you know, your privacy destroyed. Like, I don't understand. Like, you go to other messaging apps. I don't have time, but, um, and look at their permissions. They're not asking, asking to access your location and your camera without your knowledge every time. Or, you know, just weird stuff. And then um, people are like, oh, we'll just use WhatsApp. Messenger's the number one messaging application in the world. Guess what number two is? WhatsApp which I've never used before. And I use this sometimes, but I, I don't like to. But um, WhatsApp was bought by, guess who? Yep, Facebook. So the number one and number two Facebook or app messaging applications in the world are owned by Facebook. And with that information, you can take it upon yourself to make an informed decision on what you should and should not do with your privacy slash freedom slash whatever. All right, folks. Peace.